Hey everybody! Today we're going to be looking at a Hindi movie called Trapped. And this trailer is starring Raj Kumar. Uh, it comes out at the end of March. And apparently it's a story about a guy that gets stuck in a high rise in a, in a big skyscraper without any food, water, or electricity. Hence the name Trapped. So this poster is very self-explanatory, but it does show like he's hanging his clothes on the grate. It looks like that might be a security guard. You know, one of those things that keep you from leaving or getting in. Uh, but he's near the top floor. I'm not sure why they would have that kind of a security guard that high up. That would be something you would put, like, on the basement or the ground floor. But maybe that's something else. Maybe it's blinds or something. But uh, let's check out Trapped, and we'll see what they got for us, and then we'll talk about it afterwards. Float cam, handheld float cam. Try and give a, it looks like a independent film, low budget feel, which is fine. Did you forget your phone? The music is it's technically one note, but it's good at building tension. Oh, the director of Lutero. Hmm. Oh, he's going to eat the ants. Oh no, not the TV. <laughs> I like that. Now I do want to point out some uh, similarities in the way that this trailer is constructed. If you watch the trailer for Raman Ragov 2.0, it's structured the same way. You have the beginning where he's talking, uh, they're kind of setting up the whole character and maybe the situation. Then he gets in the situation, they, they're showing what's going on. And then right at the end, the kind of creepy music and the clanking and the metal sounds, all of that ends and there's silence. And you just hear the guy screaming through a fence. Of course, in Raman Ragov, he's trying to see if someone will come over so he can kill him. In this one, he's trying to get help. Uh, I do have a question. Are there a lot of high rises, uh, skyscrapers in India that have that security gate? on all of the floors is that to be like for anti jumpers to try and keep people from jumping uh, that's that's interesting I have not seen that before um, yeah that would that would suck especially with you know that's a big security door which is meant to keep people out not keep people in uh, I do like single room movies storylines that take place in a single location because if they're done right, they're really engaging. Like the drama can get really heightened. You have movies like Phone Booth or uh, Wait Until Dark. 
you know, a lot of those, they can basically be stage plays because they take place in one location. And you can treat it like a, a theatrical experience, like a, a th being at a theater and watching a play. So the dialogue in the script is very important. Uh, so I would be curious to find out how the story opens up and the flow of the character and some of the dialogue. There shouldn't be too much dialogue just because he would end up talking to himself. So I'm hoping that the director does a lot more of the visual storytelling instead of him just giving exposition to nobody. Uh, yeah, I would be curious to find out how this movie turns out. I am intrigued. But what did you guys think? Comment below and let me know your thoughts. Like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends! And I will see you on the next video!